Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, SliceOnBroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wrestling Mayhem Show 545. It is Mayhem in the Nation Election Night 2016. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Mayhem Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. Ready to talk pro wrestling and have a little fun with you guys tonight. So I'm uh, an Election Night special edition here. We're going to do some fun stuff. Uh, but with us from Johnstown, PA, the heartbeat of America, it is Bobby F. J. Town. Chevrolet? No, 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 no. That's not. That was there. Oh, okay. no, 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 no. I, don't, I, I do have a Chevy. Uh, the Heartland, the Heartbeat, whatever you want to call like it. Like the Rock. Oh. Interesting thing about my car. Oh, okay. I have, I, I have a Malibu Classic, but the C fell off the back of it, so it is now a Malibu Classy. Okay, also with us from Poughkeepsie, New York, the Heartland of Wrestling uh, over the years. It is the only one of us. With a future endeavor letter from the WWE, it is Mad Mike. That's right, Sorg. What you hear right there is experience. <laughs> and I have experience in spades. No, 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 no. Do that later. Do that later. No, no, Save no. That for I'm later. starting. Sorg, my entire time on this show will be a stump speech. <laughs> I, I like keep the class. Equation. My entire my time. Table. Entire eight years he's been here has been his stump speech. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> and also with us, we like to bring in a bunch of new faces, different faces. Actually, this guy has been on Indie Mayhem show in the past. He's a world traveled. <laughs> hey, I have Darren, been in three countries. I mean, Darren De Niro. Yeah, it's more than me. That's more than me, but I'm catching up with you at the end of the month here. Uh, yeah. Darren De Niro is with us. His name is Money. Exactly. That's, that's uh, what we go with now. <laughs> I'm, I'm loading up for my sub speech. It's going gonna, it's gonna to come in hot and heavy. <coughs> uh, sorry about that uh thank you so much for joining us uh, thank you for having me man love, love to talk some wrestling with you talking some wrestling of course this is your wrestling mayhem show you can check this out and so much more at wrestling mayhem show.com subscribe rate review itunes stitcher speaker iHeartRadio, and the video versions on the youtube and the facebook page you can also drop us a line at that email address good times good times <laughs> I love that hangout delay. Uh, Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Like the t-shirt on ProWrestlingTees.com slash WMS I got right here. It's very worn out because I wear it like all the time. Uh, 412-206-WMS0 is the hotline if you want to drop us a line there. Like our good friend that listens to us on Hari Heart Radio does from uh, time to time. Thank you so much, everybody that participates there. Big thanks to our Patreon supporters, of course. Bo diggity! Woo! Oh, and, and I keep forgetting our co-hosts. This is part of the Patreon thing. Our co-hosts get to read the names, but both digging I have to because it's special. Uh, Darren, can you give a shout out to our Patreon supporters here? I hope you can read them on the screen here. Right. There's Bo Diggity. There Bo is. Diggity. All right, Edward Woo. J. Uh, Facio Burke. We'll see how that went. Um, yeah, also, sorry. still, I believe at the 128 level, so you can get the uh, English accent Enzo promos coming up here from DJ Lunchbox. Oh Jesus, uh, my eyes are not. I'll help you out Ma- with that one. The Matthew and Jennifer Carlin's Foundation for Podcast Betterment. Thank you, thank you. Alice Cars, I can read that one. Bobby Snyder, that's me. Christopher Bischoff, thank you so much, everybody, for supporting the show. Um, and also, please check us out. We're live dot wrestling mayhem show dot com. We're over on currently we're um, live on the Facebook Live, uh, but depending on uh, hey, we may move to a different technology. We've done it multiple times in the past. Always go to live dot wrestling mayhem show dot com to see where we're at this week, uh, please. And also, uh, Patreon Patreon dot com slash wrestling mayhem show if you want to become a supporter, just like our good friends there. So let's get into, like I said, we're going to have a fun thing to start this off. We will be talking about the new Cruiserweight show that was announced and talk about a little bit of the Survivor Series, I think, in this show. Uh, but first, you know, uh, we have a poll over on uh, Twitter.com slash Mayhem Show. It's pinned to the top of our profile page. Um, the four of us are included there. I didn't get any other stump speech um, um, submissions here. Uh, so I hope we got everybody that is participating. We'll take one last check 
here. People are already voting. We haven't even said what our platform is. So let's. Uh, I, Mike seems to be ready, raring, and go to go. So, uh, Mad Mike, you have sixty seconds that I'm not timing. Uh, give us your stump <laughs> speech. Why must they elect Mad Mike the president of Mayhem? No, no, Sork. Um, Mad Mike, I believe, is an offensive term. Uh, we've had so much anger and bitterness and hostility this election season. I will now be known as Mellow Mike. Um, as president of Mayhem, you said in the intro, I bring the experience. I have worked for the largest professional wrestling company in the world, and I do not adhere to their Hall of Fame standards. But I am here as president of Mayhem. I have gone above and beyond the call of duty for the Wrestling Mayhem show. I have gotten the Iron Sheik to spit on us. I have gotten the Miz to prank call us. And I braved interviewing Pentagon Dark by myself for this show, Sorg. Because I... Because I love it so damn much. I promised myself I wouldn't do this. Sork, this show means everything to me. That's that that I yield the rest of my time. Damn. First one cried. Uh all right. Let's go to oh, I see that face. I don't know if he's ready. Bobby you have J Town. You have the floor if um, you want it. I'm going to have my uh running mate speak for me oh no um <laughs> oh no i know what's gonna happen ready carlos <laughs> oh he, he's carlos now because he's he was on the uh lucha underground hangout um, audio the, audio listeners before. audio listeners i'll just tell you now this is probably going to deserve a visual if you want to come back to this part ready ready carlos four more years four more years four more years thank you and I and I I concede. <laughs> wait, wait, you concede? No, no, no don't wait, concede wait, yet. What? <laughs> don't concede I mean, yet. I mean, yeah. You uh, mean you mean you cede your time? Yeah. Okay. You, yeah, it's my time. <laughs> yes. See, um, Bob, Bobby is all ready to quit on the election. If 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 I win, I promise Brondo for all plants <laughs> and a pony for every. Wrestling fan, I don't know. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I thought I thought I thought Bobby was gonna say there'd be a Funko Pop in every house. <laughs> I will. <laughs> I will pretend that this photo of Shinsuke Nakamura, I, I will be his. It's Wolverine, and I will slowly, just gently touch it. <laughs> what? <laughs> and think of Jean Grey. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> well, that got a little weird. Okay, Bobby, Bobby, I think weird. I think you're using the diff- the wrong term for stump. I am Groot. All right, <laughs> moving you, on. I am Groot. Moving on, we're going to give the floor to our <laughs> guest this week, Darren De Niro. Oh no, he's oh. got props. Oh no, one more thing. <laughs> I'm, I'm a hell for my <laughs> running mate. <laughs> oh no, big pop a pump and take some paraphrase some words from him. All right, go for it. We know, we know, my host got a fifty fifty chance of winning. We see me and my co host here. We ain't normal. We're just freaks. So you have at least a 75% chance of a good show. And then you throw my sword in the mix. Your chances drastic go down. I mean, they know. I'm, I'm done. I, I, I had a really good <laughs> run Give there, that man the $10,000. Oh, man. <laughs> Big pump, pump. Greatest wrestler of what, all time. Was that the Scott Steiner math edition? Yeah. I literally in ring did, did that promo and just changed up whose names we were, we were wrestling on a Wednesday <laughs> amped at Rockstar Pro. I, in Scott Steiner voice, did the same exact promo, word for word, numbers and all. Just changed up who we were wrestling, and they they gave me the okay to do that. This is the guy that's currently leading the poll, by the way. Uh, <laughs> Scott Steiner is going to win. If it. elected, yeah. I will give you Jeff Jarrett on a pogo stick. That did happen, didn't it? That did happen. That did, that did happen. That was a thing. <sighs> All right. All right. President of Mayhem. I guess uh, I, I should go next. Ladies and gentlemen, Mayhemers and Mayhem at. Have we ever used that word before? 
Um, there has to be like two of them, right? <laughs> Are there women out there? Listen, I know, I, I know, I don't need to play to the women voters, um, because one I've already lost that. Because even though he left the shirt on, Darren lost, already got that 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 vote probably. Uh, but uh, uh, ten years ago, I had a dream. I had a dream of mayhem. I had a dream of a place. I had a dream of a place where little mayhemers and little mayhemettes could come to a safe place and talk about professional wrestling without the trolls, without the 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 Wyatt haters, without the the people making fun of them, without the people that got, that that want to give five and a half stars to a match, and anything else is just not worth it. A place where fans can be fans, men can be men. And Bobby can be an insane pop collector. Mm-hmm. I give you, I, like I give you the Mayhem Show. I give you my candidacy for president of Mayhem. So there you go. So, like I said, we have a post. We have a post over on twittercom slash Mayhem Show. Is actually going to be because I didn't set it correctly. Is actually going to be setting. Uh, it will be up there for the next twenty three hours. <laughs> so, um, Sorg, Sorg, Sorg. I'm sorry. I've actually uh, purchased time for an ad. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I, pur- I purchased time for an attack. You purchased ad. time for an attack ad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. An attack ad. Uh, okay, we didn't plan for this, but uh, okay. No, 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 no mudslinging. Mike Sword would like you to believe that he started the Mayhem Show with altruistic reasons. The real reason is he wanted to talk about Lita's booby. This advertisement paid for by a people from Mellow Mike. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Not untrue. I'm sorry. That was actually made before um, the decision to become Mellow Mike. I apologize uh, on behalf of my campaign. You just, you just blame it on the, on the groups. On the mm-hmm. uh, the yeah. interest groups, right? Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. that's not special everybody. interest groups kill you every time, Sork. That's right. I'd exactly. like to make a statement. <laughs> I have a crystal penguin. I don't know if this helps me or hurts me. <laughs> Just make the right choice. <laughs> <laughs> also, I have a dragon ball, but I can't reach it. <laughs> Darren, do you have anything you want to uh, respond to? Mm. I'm trying to think. I hit my finisher on AR Fox once in a match. That has to count for something, right? <laughs> <laughs> just put just, just put evidence of it too. So there you go. <laughs> this is the best election ever. Okay, okay, that's I, okay. None of us have hit our finisher on AR Fox, so you 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 beat us there. Bam! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> All right, guys. Like I said, uh, Twitter.com slash Mayhem Show at Mayhem Show on Twitter. Uh, please, please get your votes in. We're 14 votes in so far. Darren DeNero, 50% of the votes, and I'm apparently second, uh, with 14 votes already registered. Please. If I, if I win, what do I get? I, you're, you get to be president of the mayhem. So I, I have to show up every week then? Well, no, not necessarily, but we may have to have you do pre-recorded addresses before the show for all a right, while. All right, At least for a while until we forget that election was a thing. Okay, I'm cool with that. You know, until it's not cool anymore. I, I'm um, fighting fire with fire. <laughs> Or, sword, or, or sword somebody girl, impeaches you. Running mates. Or uh, running Carlos. mates? Um, I, I think we... Uh, <laughs> wait, what? Did you already announce yours? <laughs> Carlos. Car- oh, Carlos. <laughs> I thought you said Carlins. Um, um, we can do a round of that. You know, I think, it, I think okay. it perfectly makes sense. Oh, wait. Uh, no, Bobby, you've already, you've already declared... No, Matt and, I are, Matt and I are a tag team in this uh, potluck. No, that's something so else entirely. That's something else. Potluck? that's something else no. entirely. You got Carlos. No, no, you All have right, Carlos. You've Mad already Mike, declared Mad Carlos Mike. as your running mate. Who's your running mate, Mad Mike? Thanks, Carlos. My running mate is the people, Sorg. <laughs> all of them. Damn it. All God. of them. Damn Sorg, it. if I'm elected, they will all have an equal say in what we talk about on the main <sighs> show. By casting their emails. Hmm. So well, basically, nothing will change. Bobby's got Carlos. I think I got the candidate to beat them all. Somebody who has already run for president before... That's right. It's the Hulkster, brother. It's the Hulkster. <laughs> the Hulkster's in the house. I, I thought for sure you were going to bring him Roman. I'm like, Sorg, that's a sure way to lose votes. <laughs> nope, nope. Mr. America or Hulk nope, Hogan? Let's I, see. I hear the internet Sorg, booing at me. Sorg, there is no way well, an over racist who has had a reality show will ever do anything good in an election. <laughs> There's no way that's going to happen. 
I don't mind saying the N-word, brother. <laughs> and it got awkward. Darren, who's your yep. running mate? Um, I got another running mate over here if you want him. No, no, I'm, I'm going to go with... Uh, Big Papa Pump? Big Papa Pump. Oh, once he has something to say to me. Okay. He said he'd be scared of the other candidates if he was uh, covered in Twinkies. Oh. Oh. I don't, I don't like Twinkies. Yeah, that's, that's what he told they're me. Whole, they're horrible the word. Are you, you guys aren't uh, Scott Steiner promo connoisseurs like I am. Apparently not. As I much. watch all the Scott no, Steiner promos. Not, not, not that much. I know all the lines. <laughs> I just Scott. started Skype. What? I just accidentally started Skype. <laughs> what the hell? Bobby. Selection has me flustered. <laughs> Our right. election up. Bo- really. Bobby, Bobby is rigging. The votes. Darren Dinero is is creeping down to forty seven percent of the votes. We'll check yeah. on this through the night. Stuff I, I, in the ballot box. Stuff Skype. in the ballot box with Skype. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, hey, uh, uh, just throwing a shout out. Check out IndieWrestling dot us. Um, it's the uh, uh, place where you can find Darren Dinero in several matches, actually. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Such as, such as. Uh, what are you talking about? Indie, indie Wrestling. US? Yes, Indie Wrestling. Oh, US. yeah. Uh, me versus Shelton Benjamin. Me versus Josh, That's right. Josh Alexander. Me versus Dave Christ. Me versus a lot of other people. Where I oh, talk, my hair gets chance and I do an occasional cool move. There you go. Pretty much in a nutshell. Big cage match. Uh, cage. Uh, yeah, I think yeah. over a year ago. Yeah. Yeah. That was, yeah, last year's cage match, War Games. I was in there for like 20 minutes. There you go. Up. There you go. He is a veteran. Go check him out. Check out Darren De Niro in action. IndieWrestling.us. Sign up for the newsletter, and you can get updates on Wrestling Mayhem Show. Sales going on. New releases. Uh, Clearfield Cataclysm. No. Clearfield Carnage. Damn. I love... I There's always another C word. You have to guess which one it is. On the Clearfield I, I, re- I miswrote it a couple times on the tweets and Facebooks <laughs> the last couple days, so um, I got to get the promo right when we put the actual show out. Oh. Uh, the edit is finished, including Bachelor Party footage. From the sexy, talented dudes. Whoa. That doesn't sell you nothing well. The bachelor party happened in Clearfield in a match. And we have some additional footage, too. I still haven't finished. I still need to finish the intermission footage to see what other surprises they had for us. But you definitely get an STD eye view. Hmm. That sounds really painful That doesn't and dirty. sound entirely good uh but anyways um but no please uh, uh go check out indie wrestling.us check out the best of iwc premier championship wrestling out of cleveland uh renegade wrestling alliance fish has got outcast wrestling and uh so many more so many more over there and some great releases like the montreal theory and uh finding zach gallon indie wrestling.us all right let's talk about some wwe guys there was a big announcement this past week of uh 205 live which uh, hates the Wrestling Mayhem show because it's going to be on at 10 p.m. on the WWE Network. Thank you for that, WWE. Uh, so I, I, I'm guessing they're going to do this live um, after SmackDown, which gives me all the more reason to want to go to SmackDown. Um, I think it's probably going to be live to tape. Live to tape? No, it's live. I Really? I can't imagine it being actually live. Like live to the I, get, I can see them PM, recording little... it before SmackDown. No, it's after. So well, maybe yeah. maybe it could be maybe the live you do mm-hmm. live the tape before SmackDown and then they 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 run it afterwards. Yeah, because I can't imagine holding people there for an extra hour after every taping. Mm-hmm. That's true. Yeah, I could, recorded talking smack afterwards though. But yeah, but, that, be there but that's not. Now. Yeah, no one has to be there. That's a studio show. True, true, true. But but then um um. So what happens to talking smack? Is it going away? I think it's it's better or not. That's the that's the best part of SmackDown. All, all I can say is, like, I know we 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 kind of confer that it is the best part of SmackDown is, is talking smack, right? But that maybe the ratings don't reflect that as much, perhaps. Yeah, but what ratings are there for the network? Oh, they're, they're looking. I mean, the WWE Network is looking at their numbers much like. Netflix does right. Netflix says, you know, hey, a lot of people are watching Adam Sandler movies. Let's cut a deal with Adam Sandler that his next three movies are going to be exclusive to Netflix, right? Wherever you think of Adam Sandler, somebody's watching it and they're responding to that. Uh, the Cruiserweight Classic did so many numbers, therefore they have numbers to say, okay, let's do a show, and that brings people in and keeps them there, right? Um, I think I, I and 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 I've said, and this makes sense because I, you know how long have I been saying like I feel like the cruiserweight classic has been 
um, or I'm sorry, the cruiserweights are being branded like we had the old WCW um, when they were trying to do that before the Alliance, right? And here it is. It actually happened this time when they're getting their own show, which I think is tremendous. Anybody have Yeah, I mean, I mean, it depends on what they're going to do with it, though, because if it's just going to be matches, what's the point? Mm-hmm. Well, like, like, I, I think, well, I think it's going to have story. I, I think it's going to be a little more to it. I think, like, mm-hmm. imagine NXT, but for cruiserweights. I, I, I yeah. think it's something that's going to get more attention than what's being thrown out there on Raw right now. Look at the attention that was given to the cruiserweight classic. Uh, this isn't something they're making for USA Network for a broad audience. This is something for the people that want to look for it on WWE Network. Again, like in NXT, like the cruiserweight classic, right? Yeah, they're they're really uh, appealing to a niche audience. So, I mean, I think that. Like I said, some people just want to watch pure wrestling. Like, I mean, how many people look at, you know, the AWs of the world, the PWGs, and really don't care about the storylines? They just want to see some dope matches. You yeah. Know? And mm-hmm. well, that's what, sa- same thing with Cruiserweight, you know. Ring of Honor was like a lot of that, you know. We, we kind of complain about the show here uh, about there's not a lot of kind of concurrent storylines. There's just kind of matches and competition, and that's it, right? Yeah. Um, and that's really what Cruiserweight Classic went for. Yeah, I mean, it, it, the only storylines were like the individuals themselves. You know, it wasn't really like I hate this guy, like classic wrestling storylines. It was like any other competition, like you might watch in the Olympics. Like, okay, this dude just wants to be the best, and this is what he does. And you know, I think uh, the Cruiserweight Classic was executed just about as good as it could have been. Because I mean, I don't think anyone really thought uh, T.J. Perkins was going to win. I'm not saying like everyone thought, oh, it's going to be Zack Saber Jr. Oh, it's going to be Kota Ibushi. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe Grand Metalik. But like when he popped up, it was like, oh wow, that you know. Everyone had their eyes on different people. It was a nice surprise. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, my only issue right now with Cruiserweights is I'm, I feel to a degree they're typecasting a lot of really talented people that mm-hmm. I almost feel like they're, they're trying to make sure another Daniel Bryan never happens again. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Like think about it. Yeah. They, they change the ring ropes. They're, they almost make them like their own different thing. You know, like, yeah, I feel like, are they going to let, you know, those tag teams? I know like there's some Cruiserweight, two Cruiserweight guys in that Dusty Rhodes classic, but are they going to let them, you know? Go against the big boys. Well, I'm hoping, for lack of a better term, you know? I'm hoping it becomes a thing where they kind of cross pollinate people, right? Like, like, like we're seeing in NXT, right? And yeah. and, and maybe and again, I, I I kind of like I refer to this as like kind of Triple H's WWE, where this is a thing that happens, and and those are guys that aren't you know with full on WWE contracts, guys like Anthony Nice and and uh, uh, Noam, uh, not, not Noam Dar, um, probably him too. No, he's uh, signed. He's Drew, fully signed. Is he now? Yeah, uh, he's, Drew, he was one of the ones that got Like there. Drew Gulak is still doing dates and stuff outside. Like there, there, there's this interweaving that's going on here uh, with a lot of these guys. I think I think WWE is the point now where they can't pretend the uh, the indies don't exist anymore. Mm-hmm. They, they have to acknowledge and now they're being smart enough to like, hey, well, you saw this dude live and well, what happens if you're also one of our guys? And now those questions are getting answered. Yeah, so. yeah, kind of opening that up, and and then also doesn't that also help the WWE brand a little bit when these guys show up on Raw, and even though they're not on that that live touring thing now, Drew Gulak's going and do these shows, and now he's say as seen on WWE TV, like that's more branding for them that gets out there in the long run and brings more attention back to them. Yeah, I mean, I think it gives people like, okay, well, if they're giving this guy a chance, maybe they are serious about their product now. You know, there was that, there was a, a a solid stretch there for a while where it's just like. Do you guys even care, really? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like some of the people that are signing and just the, the the mentality they had. And I think now it's like, well, yeah, this guy's in WWE. Oh, he's on WWE? Wow, they obviously care about their product. He's a quality performer. I want to see him on TV now. Maybe yeah. I should give WWE another shot. This is a world where AJ Styles and Kevin Owens are our top champions right now. Yeah, yeah. a dude mm-hmm. wears like, a t-shirt and gym shorts. <laughs> is our champion. As a, as a kind of body guy, kind of kills me on the inside, but I'm a huge Kevin Owens mark. So I'm $35 okay dollar gym shorts. That's right. Oh, man, right. <laughs> High end. Breathability. Breathability. Um, that's right. Can we, can, we, can we break the news to Mike now? So, so oh, Bobby, God. do you want to do happened? this? Um, tonight on SmackDown, um, a certain superstar returned from injury. Ooh, 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 ooh let me guess. Okay. I like this game. Hmm. Okay, hold on. What what did what did the superstar do? <laughs> no, or, no, no, or will no, that no, give it away? No, no, no. Will describe it, it. Describe it, because I don't think he'll guess. Okay. Oh wait, can I? Can I? Uh, he came yeah, at, he, yeah. he came out back from injury and absolutely destroyed Baron Corbin. Eva Murray. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. No. Yes. 
<laughs> Sorry, I was going to say even Marie regardless. <laughs> real, um, real guess? Um, oh, back from injury and destroyed Baron Corbin. Mm-hmm. So so much so that Baron Corbin is no longer on the SmackDown team. Oh, no. Please don't tell me it's Eric Rowan. <laughs> no, no. We're not that bad. It's okay. not that bad. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Um, oh, wow. Back from injury and destroyed Corp. Apollo Crews? No, 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 no. He's, no, he's, he's still there. wrestling. He's, he's always been well, there. Well, I'm, leaving, and I'm leaving the shot on Mike so I can oh, get... Oh, oh. Is it Kalisto? It's yep. Kalisto. Yes! <laughs> That's awesome! Kalisto oh, comes a back! A stipulation was, was, was made at Survivor Series now. Uh-oh. The Brian Kendrick versus Kalisto for the Cruiserweight Championship. Whatever brand wins oh, no. gets the Cruiserweights full-time. Okay, so basically, WWE is just admitting they fucked up. Yeah, and <laughs> I'm guessing the Cruiserweights are going to SmackDown to, to be with the 205 Live thing. Shocker! Maybe we should have put the Cruiserweight division on the show that had one yep. of the commentaries as the GM, and maybe had the other commentary as the commentator. <laughs> commentator. <laughs> now, Corey Graves has to like somehow fit into all this, too, though. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he does. He's on the 205 Live. Yeah, he's, he is. It's, it's Moro and Corey Graves. Corey Graves is like the busiest announcer in pro wrestling Corey right Graves. now. He's good at what he does. Holy crap. You know what this means on Raw, you guys, right? A whole lot more Roman Reigns. Dude, dude. dude. Drink it in, dude. y'all. Dude, dude. Uh, what's that? What's that, Roman? What's that? You got something? No, I can't get him over here. I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> now you got Roman and Hulk no, Hogan no, coming no, over no, towards they're just, you. They're just like all piled up over here. Wait, wait, Hogan's cheating. What's that, Roman? They more time for me, brother. I'm the guy with all the time. Believe that. Believe that. Oh, Hogan's, Hogan's going Believe down. Believe that. Hogan's going down. Okay. Um, no, no, no. That's that's a different video. So it's a different video. Also, another weird thing from SmackDown. Okay. They announced that Becky Lynch and uh, Alexa Bliss was the main event, and then proceeded to have it in the middle of the show. All right. Here's the, here's the thing that happened. Because I'm looking at the clock, it's 9 o'clock. But meanwhile, because they announced it as the main event, I'm freaking out because I'm like, oh crap, I'm not ready for the show. Yeah. Oh crap, I haven't <laughs> done this. Oh crap, I haven't done anything. And I looked, I'm like, like I'm like, did wait, did did all these clocks not change with the time change this weekend and I'm still <laughs> freaking out? It, yeah, yeah, no. WWE really kind of pulled a fast one on me there. So, um, yeah. Maybe maybe they put the match that they thought people wanted to see in the middle of the show because they knew everyone was going to flip to the impending apocalypse. Yeah, true. <laughs> feels like feels like. Uh, so I mean, you know, it, it, they're they're just putting over a WWE Hall of Famer. That's all. Mm-hmm. I was watching the Penguins and I wanted to watch the entire match of Becky and and Alexa, and I didn't get to watch it. Stupid. Oof. Thing. Oof. Hey, no. whatever. I'm sorry. I looked at the it's New York a, Times okay, map. Bobby. New York Times has these meters about who's going to win, and it's getting weird. It's it's, it's, weird. It's a, it's a I, I see scary. it 190 to 201. Yeah, that's what I see. Yeah. I'm but, seeing a 172 to 168. Yeah. Right, guy. So, uh, okay, sorry. Sorry. There's... There are world events happening during this recording, and that there's nobody's an actual care election going. There's on. an actual election, but forget that because it's already too late for you. There, uh, go to twitter.com/slash mayhem show. By the show. way, we're announcing the mayhem show in Canada. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Um, but anyways, um, but anyways, uh, so so interesting stuff there. So so I, I think it's it's fun that um, and, and also I believe we are we are getting an Intercontinental title match, uh, uh, Dolph Ziggler against uh, Sami Zayn, because as I was the little bit of what I saw, Stephanie McMahon saying, "I don't like you here, Sami Zayn. You're annoying. <laughs> Please go win the belt and go there." So um, interesting that they have it's a nice built-in thing that they had survivor series to do some reset right and and it's nice that there's a survivor series that's more than just bragging rights i hate saying that because that was a pay-per-view um a great pay-per-view. <laughs> it was fun pay-per-view but again like what, what was the point of it you, have, you yay you got a pat in the back you got I, I never rights. got that because you're literally burying one of your shows yeah you're like yeah. oh don't, don't watch this show they can't beat this show over here uh, for them you know what i mean like what like but but it's competitive and there's a weight to it and there's they're they're 
Um, did there's like did, didn't they didn't, didn't they announce that like whoever wins them like the most of the Survivor Series match gets like like picks from the other roster or something? No. Did that happen no, yet? No. Sorry, this is this is for nothing. What? No, this is for this nothing. Is for, this is for. Well, nothing. I mean, we we got something for the cruiserweight division. We got something for the IC title that that could have a uh, brand stipulations or at least somebody moving to a different brand. Um, now hold on. So if Sammy wins, he goes to SmackDown. I I think so. I think is this just admi- admitting they fucked up again by putting Kevin Owens and Sammy Zayn on the same show? I don't think I don't think they fucked up is the is the company line here, uh, or maybe I even mean, how they think about Sammy it. Sammy Owens, like, I mean Sammy Owens, Sammy Zayn and Kevin Owens has kind of been a like a track record of proving it works. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I mean, getting that feud in any capacity, but they do kind of need. Like new opponents. I am still space. huge they on space. Sammy and Owens for Universal at WrestleMania. Or not. Maybe he screws them out of the Universal title and, and, and you know, they just have another feud match at WrestleMania, right? Yeah. <laughs> it needs to happen. That yeah, I think they need to cash that in. I, yeah, and I don't think they need I don't think they should wait another year for that. Like title, not whatever stipulation who cares it should be a wrestlemania match and it could be the match of wrestlemania next year for sure um speak of comebacks so undertaker's coming back next week um just for the celebration just for a celebration he's gonna hang out and i don't know somebody i hope he comes on (laughs) (laughs) i hope he just comes on he's the undertaker now (sighs) that's great i i hope he just comes out and, and 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 just has a conversation with Edge on the cutting edge. Be kind of. And okay he cuts the cake, and then he's like, "Rest in pieces." Oh, oh God, Bobby! Bobby, remember you cannot vote for Bobby over at twittercom slash Mayhem Show. Seventeen votes out the there. Seventeen votes out there. Uh, keep them coming. Share it with your friends. Stuff the ballot RG box. RJ didn't re- retweet me. RJ didn't retweet. Uh, by the way, we are getting some comments in the Facebook uh, chat right now. Uh, well, we have been over another talking about the other election. No, talk about the one that matters. Um, a vote for Alex Cars is a vote for Big PPC as my running mate. Um, unfortunately, we did not get him on the ballot, but I think you can tweet us as a write-in. Um, Tra- <laughs> Tragar voted for De Niro solely, solely that he can get some of your leftover groupies. Wait, um, hold on. Hold on, Tragar. Trigger voted for De Niro, yet he responded to me on Twitter that my speech made him cry. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't mean I was a what good cry. What a flip flop! What a flip flop, Trigger! Cry. I mean, he's got to be real with ourselves here. I mean, mm-hmm. he has good. He has good. I'm on a good platform. Leftover groupies for everyone. Right? Oh man! Oh shit! I can't do that. It's like high school all over again. I don't even have ad groupie. <laughs> Agro, agro, agro. Is she really aggressive agro, female? Is she yeah. just like yeah, kind of fight you? Agro, Craig. That's close. I, I, I actually do. Yeah, that's true. All right, my new platform. Everyone who votes for me gets to push wheels in traffic. Ooh, I like to be a nice person. I don't want to do that. Nice person. Won't offend anybody. Don't worry about it. And a muscle man in every pocket. What? What? Remember that cartoon, oh, oh. Bobby? Bobby that, that sounds a little. That sounds a little off-putting. That yeah, sounds that, that sounds a little creepy. It sounds weird. Um, well, we'll talk a little bit more about uh, uh, wrestling things. Big question coming up. So much more. Uh, shout out to our friends at Slice on Broadway. SliceonBroadway.com uh, in the uh, Beachview area, right here on Broadway, hence the name, over on the Main Street. <laughs> you know, because uh, it doesn't make more as much sense on the other places like Main Street over in Carnegie, PA, or PNC Park, the home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Go check them out. Uh, Mad Mike did. Uh, but great people supporting Pittsburgh Podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Uh, let them know that we sent you from the Wrestling Mayhem Show, PGH underscore Slice on the Twitter and Slice on Broadway on Facebook, and the uh, Instagrams, and uh, check out their pizza art on those accounts as well. Best pizza in Pittsburgh running uh, several years, I think, at this point. Uh, go check them out. Thanks a lot for supporting the show. We'll be right back with the big question. Let's talk tech. Tech news discussions from the people in the industry right here in Pittsburgh. Online, gadgets, startups, and more. Check it out at awesomecast.net. We are back. Wrestling Mayhem Show. Darren DeNero in studio with us. 
Mad Mike and Bobby F. J. Town, and we just disclosed to Mad Mike that Shane McMahon is on the Survivor Series team now, thanks to the Baron Corbin thing that we just explained to him. Dan and Brian's fault. Wait, wait, <laughs> wait. Um. So, no, let me go on. Go on. Go walk me through it, Mike. Walk you through wait. it. You got you got the brain ah. hurt. Yeah, I got the brain hurt on. So many things are hurting my brain right now. Right, um, right, right. So, Kalisto <laughs> takes out Baron Corbin. Yes, yes, right? we already went through this, yes. And instead of Kalisto getting put on the Survivor Series team, right? somehow a third-party candidate won? Yes. What? Are, yeah. are, 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 um, Sorg. How thin are these fucking rosters? Well, okay, so they split them up. No, uh, no, this is bad. First question I mean, is: these rosters are fucking thin. What's your issue with Shane O'Mac? Because I mean, Zachary Wentz is such a big fan of Shane O'Mac. He does the Shane O'Mac punches. I think he is a great but, professional but, wrestler. And you know what? If Brock Lesnar was on the Raw team, I'd be okay with it. But he ain't, because someone had to do a video game feud. Yeah, but Shane's on. He's the in charge of the roster, so why not? Well, we can't do Daniel Bryan, so he jumped off of a Hell in a Cell for for us. (laughs) No, no, he's SmackDown for us. No, because that wasn't even a thing then. It wasn't. He was trying to get Raw. I want. He was trying to take over Raw. I want to vote Shane McMahon the mayhem president. <laughs> no, no, no. I can't add anybody to the poll. It's not how Twitter works. I am now Shane McMahon. If you want Shane McMahon to be the mayhem president, vote for me. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Um, get your votes in. Wrestling, uh, Twitter.com slash mayhem show. Uh, so, so I guess I, it leads to the question. So so let's say let's say not Shane O'Mac. Because, you know, yeah, I, I think it kind of could should be somebody else you can feature on that SmackDown roster, right? And I guess a lot of people are kind of taken up between the tag team uh, uh, and the uh, Tours of Wade and the Intercontinental title uh, uh, matches that are, that are, hey, Survivor Series is looking pretty full there. Um, who would you rather have currently on the roster for SmackDown rather than Shane McMahon? Mike, I mean, you're, you're the one that has the issue with it. Um, God, there are so many people that it could be. There are so many people. Apollo Crews? That'd be a good one. Why not him? Why not him? Um, he just lost it. Oh, I don't know. A little guy by the name of John Cena. I honestly thought it was going to be John Cena tonight. It, but um, going back to your Apollo, should Apollo be. Cruz. Yeah. Um, do you know what happened to him tonight on, on SmackDown? <laughs> I love Bobby, I know nothing about Smackdown. I love, I love this game of telling like like Mad Mike what happened on SmackDown tonight while he was busy. Bobby? Guess who he lost to tonight? Um, ooh. just say Kalisto and move on. James Ellsworth. No, no. Damn it. James uh, Ellsworth should have been on the fucking you, SmackDown I'll team. give you a hint. Oh, he faced yeah. the facts all right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you mean former TNA tag team champion Kurt Hawkins? Yep. What? <laughs> Paula Cruz got beat by Kurt Hawkins. Wow. These rosters are thin. We do not need a separate cruiserweight show for this. Yeah, we do. No, we don't. These yeah, rosters do. are too thin. There's so many cruiserweights. We are going to get 45 minutes of Roman Reigns on Raw now. Oh, oh, and by the way, it was because my, my feet cut out when, when I was having problems with when it was coming up. Did Bree Zango get into the tag team? Yes, they, yes. Did. they did. And they are the fashion police now. Oh, who, yes. Oh, yes. Who, who did they wrestle? Who did they wrestle? Uh, Oh, poor Vaude Villains. Poor Vaude Villains. It was a good match. And and, and they were wearing kilts. Is is it too late for the Vaude Villains to go back to NXT? They're doing alright. No, they're not. They're they're, they're doing. Wait, they're doing. They're they're around. They're They're around. That's fine. They're around. Um, The Shining Stars are doing better than the Vaude Villains. Darren, who would you like to see off of the SmackDown roster? Rather than Shane O'Mac, I wouldn't like to see anyone off other than Shane O'Mac. I want so Shane. you're 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 I'm Team Shane O'Mac. Team, team Shane O'Mac. Here comes the money. That's right. That's right. There you go. Um, I I I think 
Yeah, I can't think of too many people. So you're right. It, it feels a little thin there. But like an Apollo Crews, um, Callisto would have made sense. But again, you know, Baron kind of. Corbin would have been a good choice. Yeah, Baron Corbin <laughs> was kind of a good choice, him. right? Like, that was weird. I mean, like, he, yeah. it was the weirdest way to eliminate him, too. Oh, you're getting robot y there, uh, Bobby. Oh, sorry. Sorry, right. I think we're having some internet issues too. So. It, it was the weirdest way to eliminate him. Yeah. Donald Trump is already taking down this country. Oh, no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no, but like, did, did you see how he was eliminated? Oh, you're getting real robot y. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. Okay, Bobby's going to pop out uh, and, and correct himself. But uh, no, it's interesting. I know, I, again, I, I like where the Survivor Series kind of thing is going. So. Um, Better? Yeah, yes. Bobby. That was quick. All right. Did you see? Did you see how he got eliminated tonight? Hmm. I saw nothing. He slipped on the apron. His knee popped out. He claimed, and then Kalisto attacked him. Oh God damn it! Yeah, it was I, weird. I, I'm kind of glad I don't watch SmackDown. <laughs> SmackDown's good. When it's good, it's really good. Yeah. Tonight it was just okay. I don't know. I I don't want to see Shane McMahon wrestle. I do. I don't. I don't. Why not? Uh, no. He's one of my. He is in one of my all time favorite matches. That's that's great. But they opened SmackDown. Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan. They opened the first SmackDown of the brand by saying it's not about them. Mm-hmm. It's been all about them. Name one person they've put over on SmackDown that wasn't already over. They re-put Dolph Ziggler over. Uh, and where is he? Why is he not on the SmackDown team? He he's fucking should be. The Intercontinental Champion. So what? He's got something else Roman to do. Roman Reigns is the U.S. Champion. Guess where he is? He's right. on he's the Roman Reigns. Team. Because they, they didn't cut a deal for the U.S. Vince title. Because Vince hard on for him. Hold on. Hold on. I'm back. sorry. Let, let's think back Survivor Series a couple years ago when Sting made his debut. Who was the sole survivor then? Oh, yeah. Dolph fucking Ziggler. Yeah. Why isn't he on the team? Because he's Shay. defending his in, in, Intercontinental Championship. And he can pull double duty. He's Dolph Ziggler. The, the, the rosters are thin. Yeah, no shit. We have to have Shane McMahon on the fucking team. <laughs> well, anyways, either way. Uh, Baron Corbin got kicked from the main event to the pre-show. Because you know where that match with Kalista is going to be. No, now. he's actually out now. Yeah, sure he is. He's going to be on the pre-show. Against, against somebody else, right? Against Kalisto. Sure. No, Kalisto's fighting uh, uh, Brian Kendrick. D. Brian Kendrick, sorry. Yep. Okay, so so Baron Corbin's going to stop Kalisto from winning the Cruiserweight title. Very possible. Yeah, Very but if possible. we want the SmackDown to, to have the Cruiserweights. Yeah. Well, they, they said the Cruiserweights would be exclusive Basically, for this is going to end up with Baron Corbin as your Cruiserweight champion. They, 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 yeah, that would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we I'm just booked this that. around. We just booked this around. So, all right. Well, uh, I think it, I love I love that we converted the big question to, uh, uh, "Hey, Mike, guess what happened tonight?" Uh, but uh, uh, I think we need to close this up here, so because the, we're one, we're distracted, yeah, completely yeah. by the polls tonight. So, uh, what did you learn from wrestling this week, Bobby? I learned that you can call a main event a main event and have it anywhere in the, in the episode or anywhere in the show, I guess. Hey, you can even, know. you got, you, remember this is the same brand that had the main event as the first match on a pay-per-view. True. True. But yeah, it was a weird choice. Anyways. Um, also learned that Chris Jericho is my all time favorite wrestler. Hands down. He's reinvented himself so many times. This, I, this is the best work he's done by far. Mm-hmm. Just, Knocking it out of the park with the list and just amazing stuff. What, what somebody was was saying about Chris Jericho uh, can put over inanimate objects like the list. Yeah, like he, he can do anything. Yeah, anything. Mad Mike, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? I learned that if you're a WWE Hall of Famer, you should be immediately disqualified from public office. That yeah, should be written into the Constitution. Yes. There you go. There it, you should, go. it should be the next amendment. It's not what we expected when we always kind of wished uh, 
for a wrestler to become uh, president, is it? So uh, I've never wished for a pro wrestler to become. By the way, it, 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 they're it, fucking it is, idiots. By the way, it is it is eleven thirty nine on the East Coast, and uh, I know anything could happen as things close out. We don't know. Uh, so Bernie Sanders is making a hot tag. This is gonna, oh, yeah. This can always be completely different in the morning when you guys listen to this. So, Darren De Niro, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Flaming nunchucks, kind of bad, what? but not as bad as you think. What? I mean, I didn't take him. Still, <laughs> wait, <laughs> hold my, on. Where is this and how can Rockstar I Pro? <laughs> Rockstar Pro. Flaming nunchucks. I see crap. it. Someone you hit with them. Was was Facade involved in this? No, not what? at all. The ninja in pro wrestling wasn't involved in this? No. Wow. It seems like a missed opportunity. I want Drago. <laughs> yeah. Anybody from Lucha Underground? <laughs> Were they there? Yeah, really Drago no. with flaming nunchucks. No, no, that there is no one from Lucha Underground. Yeah, no one from Lucha Underground there. Uh, yeah, Fleming on checks. Uh, bad, but not as bad as you think. Allegedly. There you go. There you go. Um, and I learned that NXT's Mannequin Challenge is amazing. By the way, first yeah. first wrestler you see there is a friend of the show, uh, Elias Samson, Logan Chulo. Yeah, so right. go check that out. Uh, that video is over on WWE.com uh, and, and all their social medias. Is he back well. from being injured yet? Um I- might be the returns thing that they've been teasing. Okay, I'm thinking. Oh, really? Maybe. Ooh, Maybe. I, I I didn't see NXT last week just yet. So uh. I do want to say that I hope they do this on the show, but I doubt it. Um, they've been doing something at house shows where he calls Oscar out, and he says he's like, "I know you've been looking at me backstage, Oscar. I just want to say that you know." I, it's okay it's cool and then she takes a guitar and smashes it over his head <laughs> they've been doing that at house shows and i i hope it makes it to tv but i doubt it will i doubt oh. it especially because oscar is probably gonna be going heels yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. i heard that too uh it, it makes sense it makes sense though All if right. she does go heel i want the clown makeup though <laughs> the, the scary clown makeup that'd be great all Wait right, guys. That. Well, thanks a lot, everybody, joining us here in the chat as we have this election day edition. Uh, Darren De Niro, where can people check you out online or anywhere uh, else coming up? The Twitters uh, and Instagram, Darren underscore De Niro, Darren De Niro on Facebook. Uh, wrestling, uh, I have XWE this week. I mean, not this week, this month, and Rockstar. Next month, I have Tier 1 Wrestling, Pro Wrestling Empire. Uh, Mega Championship Wrestling along with Rockstar. Just uh, yeah, follow my Twitter feed. You'll find out where I am. Awesome. Come back to IWC anytime soon? Um, I don't know. We'll see how the wind blows. We'll see if it's, uh, it's a situation that works out for both parties. Everybody uh, hit up uh, Plumber Loves You on Twitter and tell him to get Darren back. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see get him in there. For Especially if he wins the President of Mayhem. He owes a lot of people groupies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he does. Uh, he does. Group, out there. Hashtag groupie. Yeah, I mean, uh, maybe I should go back to, to Dayton. I mean, I lived I lived literally five minutes from U of D. I needed to start recruiting again. <laughs> <laughs> Imports. Yeah, Imports. Bring him in. Bring him in. Imports. Uh, um, there's crying happening on my on my TV. That's that's fortunate. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, Mad Mike, Mad Mike four eight eight three on the Twitter. That that is me. Um, I believe I will be back for the midweek war this week. Um, but yeah, uh, hit up the hashtag MM on Mayhem Show, uh, where I will live tweet about Lucha Underground and Impact, and perhaps even Total Bells. I haven't decided yet. It depends on how sad I get for the rest of the week. Mm-hmm. <laughs> At Bobby F J Ten on the Twitters. Yes, and this weekend, uh, starting at 12 noon on Saturday, we're doing our Extra Life. Uh, and you can donate on my team page at extralife.org. And I'm not going to be able to say this. Uh, <laughs> it's a long URL. I'll tweet the link out on my Twitter, at Bobby F. J. Town. Uh, donate if you can. It's for a good cause. It is for Children's Hospital of, uh, I think, St. Vincent's Ch- Children's Hospital in Erie. All right, and check out at Sorgatron on the Twitter, SorgatronMedia.com, WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Subscribe, share, leave comments, all those kinds of things. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Mayhem out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at SorgatronMedia.com.